Hey, hey, this is Sapphire Chow. Welcome back. It's been a while, but I am really glad to start this series back up again. So, welcome back, everyone. And now, let's just see how our Chow have been. So, where are they now? Well, they're in these gardens, but... We have Nebula here, who has finally got into the bag. Well, at least he's head. So, there we go. There's Nebula. Blossom over here has decided to go full fabulous, so now Blossom has some nice animal parts. Uh, we have wine. Wine here is exploded a little bit, so in a mega evolution. But uh, he's a pretty tall boy. And yes, all these chow indeed have full level 99. Uh, potato is uh, still a potato. So uh, nothing to nothing to really report there. Chuckle is a mix of swim and power, and he's still a bit of a goof. Uh, Chiro, on the other hand, um, they've kind of just uh, let themselves go a bit. They've now become a hero, uh, swim power, and uh, probably ate one too many, or maybe ten or a hundred too many uh, sugar-coated pastries dipped in chocolate, maybe. Yeah, so uh, that's what's happened with Jiro. Alright, but in the neutral garden we have... We have some chair. Oh, we got we got a guest chair right here and he's kind of edgy. Are you, are you sure you... Are you okay, well, um, Prism certainly put you in your place. <laughs> so, we have actually a couple of screaming chow here. We have Hengrid. Okay, Hengri. With a heart. Um, we also have Angury, but also it's another. Also, it goes by another name by the name of Disgust. So his face looks very disgusted. This chow is thanks to Fire Dezu, and this is thanks to Cory, I believe. So yes, these are just a couple of guest chows chilling with us today, and uh, they're, they're a bit, a little bit edgy as well. But Final here, Final here has got some new shoes. That's pretty much the only changes for final because you know his his face is already perfect, so we don't really need to do much else to final. Um, Jerry here, he also got new shoes. He's not very really that imaginative. He decided to do the same thing that final did, so he also got the the brand new shoes, just because just because he wanted to. But yes, we also have Prism. Now Prism here um, has become a mega evolution. But um, I, I, I'm not too sure what really happened to Prism. I think he might have just got abducted by aliens, maybe because the aliens were having too much fun. And uh, he didn't want any of that, so uh, I think he ended up getting abducted by them. And uh, yes, so now he came back as that. Oh yes, um, Vortex here. Vortex here is an interesting case. Um, apparently sold their limbs to the black market, so uh, they've kind of lost all their limbs, yeah. Um, probably because they couldn't really pay for all that child support from all those babies they made with Churro. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what happened with Vortex here. Not much change to RNGesus, I just fed them a bunch of mint candies just to maximise that stamina. So, yeah, there you have it. RNGesus is still as they are, and maybe they felt made a, I don't know. And maybe RNGesus maybe created a, some sort of cult without me, without my noticing. I don't know. Maybe they did something, but I have no idea. That's RNGesus just as themselves. So Snake here it will forever be a crawling box, um, but they, they may have gone on a few missions, avoided drowning and all that, so uh, yes, there we go. He is um, also probably a neutral power power type, so we have a nice red exclamation mark when he needs to do that, as suitable for the uh, the Metal Gear Solid games. Oh yeah, and as for Trash, um, Trash, is, uh, Trash is Trash is dead. Yeah, that's what, that's what happened to Trash. He's no longer with us anymore. Unfortunately, he's just not around. Wait, wait, get out of the shot, trash! No, no, no. He is, he is, he is dead. Rest in peace. Um, he will be remembered as the trashiest Chow ever. Um, yeah. Why, hello there! I see you want to do the snuggles. You want to go and worship Shadow, will you? Well, that is nice. Shadow approves. Shadow always approves. And I also do approve. No, don't 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 speak to Trash. Trash is dead. He's no longer with us. Do, don't don't speak to the dead. The do, dead do not speak. Oh, where is uh? Are, are you just lying there for a second? There, I thought you were asleep. 
And uh, Angry is quite angry. I think Angry just hates everyone. There we go. We've got all our screamers right here. I wonder what happens. I wonder what would happen if they all go on a screaming contest. Are you still going to do an edgy? Angry, are you going to do an edge? Because these Chow are now mobbing Shadow. <laughs> Guys, help. Someone's in the police prism. You're the fun police. You going to do anything? Probably not. Did I just witness that? Trash. Just like, Trash just put him in his place. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is probably not a very safe place for you, Angry, because all these Chow are just gonna keep destroying you. Are you still gonna try to get rid of it? Why, why are you doing an edge? Why are you why are you being such an edge today? Who 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 are, who are you targeting now? Oh, you're trying to go for Hengrid. Oh, what's gonna happen now? Oh, yep, there we go. There's there's the punch. Are you happy now? Have you been satisfied? You've just beaten up. What did, what did Hengrid ever do? Seriously, he's just he's just a screamer. Oh, here and here comes the RNG box. Yep, the RNG box always wins. We cannot defeat the RNG. Yeah. So an interesting thing with more Chow personality mods. Oh my God, where are you going now? Who, who are you targeting? Oh, are you targeting Final? No, you're targeting a. You just you just want to beat up that ball, do you? No, no, you don't know what you're doing. You want to just just you want to beat up that wall. You want to beat up that wall? No, you don't want to do that. Where, where are you going? You don't. What are you targeting? Because when a chow does this sort of walk, it wants to beat up something. Oh, it wants to go after Hangrid again. You are after Hangrid again? No. Oh my god, this chow. The bully chow is real at this. Oh my god, he's going again. <laughs> you evil chow. You evil edgy chow. Nope. Okay, so you, you're gonna just... No? I thought he was gonna go listen to some dancing. Or singing. And there we go, Trash is just beating him. Oh, that is... Sorry, that, that, is, that is beautiful. You, how are you getting destroyed by Trash? How are you getting destroyed by Trash? I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, we, we, we need to put pity on Hengrid. We need to give, give some hugs for Hengrid. Pray for Hengrid, everyone. Our, our, we have another Screaming Chow. We must respect the Screaming Chows. Yeah, so probably worth mentioning, um... With, with, with the extra, uh... With the extra mods, with any Chow that has angry eyes... Um, they will eventually dislike any, uh... Any of the characters that are opposite their, um... Their alignment. I think that's how it normally goes. So anyway, in Hengrid's case, eventually they might come to dislike the hero characters. Kind of like in Jerry's case where he just hates everyone that's a hero character but loves all the dark characters. But when it comes to neutral Chow, a neutral Chow with angry eyes will just end up hating everyone. So this is in the case of, of this angry Chow. Um, this Chow is just... yeah, new, It's just proof that neutral Chow are more edgy than dark Chow. All right, so one thing I do want to cover, or at least begin to cover, in this episode is the Daredevil's Chow race. So I'm kind of hoping this will work. So let's, let's, let's do the hero race first. I think we did the dark race first. Anyway, we want to cover these Chow dedications because they are real well overdue. Um, so that is what we're going to do. Um, I believe this is our first chow on the list. This is Puddle from... Oh, here we go. This is going to be interesting. So we can actually just go straight to the very end. The Devil's Assistant. But, you know, let's let's go cover everything. This is actually... I've never done this before, so this is going to be really cool. Um, let's put Puddle into this and go through all the Daredevil's um, Dark and Hero chow races. These are meant to be harder races. So, yeah. Do you want to quick listen? No, it's the same music. I thought the music was different. Never mind. Oh, we got some screaming chow. That's nice. Anyway, um, yeah, so I don't know if this is going to be... This is going to be a slightly harder version of the hero race. But uh, we're probably just starting slow, nice and easy here. 
through this. Um, this chow again was suggested by Nay255, or is it Nay? I'm, again, I'm not sure how people pronounce their usernames. Um, so this is a neutral swim, swim, t uh, shiny normal, I believe. Yes, it is shiny normal, so therefore it is a two-tone, um, bright chow. And this is going to be pretty simple because it's just a running race. Actually, I'll just keep spamming some stamina while we're at it. But yes, the, the, all these dedica chow dedications, we just, they've, they've, been, they've been sitting there for, for goodness knows how long. Um, but yes, they will get the screen time they deserve. I'm, I've all, I've got... I've got something sorted for all of these uh, dedications, so that's what we're going to go do and uh, cover as many races as possible. And I, I think, I mean, given our last time we tried out the Hero and Dark races, we covered them pretty easily without any problems. So, um, well, now that I mentioned that, you go sliding down and <laughs> tripping there. Of course, anything is like, it's always less, it's always with the Let's Play curse, you know, you mention something, everything's going fine, and then something goes terribly wrong, you know, it's just, it's just a thing that happens. Alright, so we're nearly there, I think it's sort of lagging a bit. I think with the races, the races, even when you're playing in-game, without any recording equipment in the background, it's always like, I don't know, it always lags when you play races on this. But yes, there we have it. It wasn't that much. That wasn't that hard. But then again, it was only the first one of of the Daredevils race. Um, I should also give credit to Chao Garden Buster for making this particular mod. So yes, we will. I mean, we just hopefully. I really hope we get to. What the hell was that? I, I heard monies. Did we get monies? What? I heard the kaching kaching. Did we get money? We we got we got monies. Did we? Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, we should go on to our next chow, which is Slyphon. Now this chow here is actually a mix of purple and blue. And we've got dark and colourful chow, okay. I'm down for that. I like colourful. I also like dark, sometimes, if they're not too edgy. Oh, we got chow- oh, that's so cool! Because all, all the, the colours match the little things that they're on. Yeah, I like that. So there's a deep blue chow that's unused colour. We've got, yeah, we've got all the other ones. Okay, so that's like a mix of... I think they're all like mixed, um, t like second evolutions. Ooh, okay, this one might be interesting. They're a bit powerful. This is, okay, this one might be interesting. But I do like this sort of colour thing. Okay, good, we, we bypassed the RNG box, that's very good. Um, yeah, so I probably didn't mention that this, uh, this chariot dedication is thanks to Delta Frazzle. And yeah, so we're asking for a, a mixed color chow. I think this is probably on the few chow that do have a color mix uh, of the bunch. But yes, um, I will be very interested to see how we go here because um, I don't know how hard. I guess again, this is a harder version of the races, but I don't know how hard they get. So, I mean, maybe we have one might fail miserably. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think we got this all right. Oh wait, I don't like I don't like that that other purple chow. No, oh, no, ah, the, the the trips are real. <laughs> Why must you RNG me? I, I don't. I did not ask to be RNG'd. Oh, I should probably stay, save that stamina. I need a um yeah yeah. Oh, it's, it's just the trips just destroy everything. It makes me sad. Well, this is going to be a very hard puzzle. It's not like you can... <laughs> okay, this will, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. Ooh, this is, this, is, this is going to be tight. This is going to be interesting here. When in doubt, I might just get R and Jesus. Are they going to phase right through each other? <laughs> yes, they are. I love that. Okay, we're going to take the inner path. Yes, no, no, don't take the outer path. We're gonna take the inner path. Be good to save them times, you know, them time saving strats there. Alright, this chow is doing a, is a faster runner. I don't know if they're a better swimmer, but I hope not. Honestly, don't know what this chow's stats, life and stats are. It's been a long time. Maybe we'd give him a bit more stamina. Oh, this is gonna be a nice close race. Nice and close. And there, I, there this this is not... Uh, yeah, I, I'm not really thinking this is going to go well. 
Unless we have amazing RNG up until this point, but I'm beginning to start doubting it. <laughs> yeah, they're just breaking away from the pack there. The best way that this is going to work is if I don't get the Pits of Death, but you know what? I've got pretty bad RNG, so I don't know. Or maybe the other chair gets good RNG and doesn't get the Pits of Death. Nope, they do not get the Pits of Death, so I don't think it's, that's, that's game. Yeah. Nope. 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 Alright. I guess in this case, I'll have to choose... Let's, 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 let's get an RNG, because I know we, we, we went out of our way to make a good... A decently graded chow, and then we have not even once um, is put RNGs in any race. So, I guess this is our chance for RNGs to shine. <laughs> so, let let's do this. Let's let us do this. Get RNGs on here. Throw them in the ring on this racetrack, and do all that. And RNGs is a pretty smart chow, so yeah, we good. We good here. We good. Look at them. I, th I think I think we've comfortably comfortably got this got the race, unless we get some really bad tripping or something. But I don't want to. I don't want to jinx myself. No drinking. No no more. Let's play curses as allowed. We don't. We don't take those. We don't take those. No, we don't. Yeah, but um, if you've seen that, re that 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 video that I've put uh, put out a lot too long ago, um, that I've uploaded, that was about the like the maximum speed dual races. Yeah, I find that the tree section is actually really glitched, and for whatever reason, if the chow revisits that same spot twice or whatever for whatever reason, um, yeah, it just it just it just gets really unstable. But yeah, look at this RNG. This is just absolutely demolishing this competition. So yeah. So we, we could have got a slightly more exciting, closer race, but you know what? Nah, we're just going to put in RNGs because praise RNGs. The one and only RNGs is the, the smart boy. Maybe lucky. Maybe maybe he's got good RNG on his side. Anyways, let's... I, I, just, I, just, I just want for, for completion's sake. I mean, we don't have to do this race, but I want to for the sake of just doing it. Because, you know, we, we are going to cover absolutely everything. We're going to do everything humanly possible in this Chow Garden Let's Play. We will do that. If There'll be lots of things I haven't yet... Oh, th thanks for that. Thanks, RNGs. But we want to do everything. I want to try to at least to do almost everything possible, humanly possible, in this playthrough. So, um, other stuff that I have not yet shown off, I will eventually show off at some point in time but at the moment my priority right now is just covering these races because I, I want I want to see what what we do with this thing yeah but look at how much of a difference it is uh Jesus best chow best racing chow 10 out of 10 we'll race again no let's, let's, let's spam that stamina we've got plenty of stamina to kill Let's just destroy that. Let's just decimate all that stamina. Yay! There we go! That was easy. Now, hang on, I just want to listen to the sound for a second because I don't know if I was going crazy or I heard something. Yeah, we get rings! We go to rings. We do get the rings. Okay, that's interesting. Doesn't I don't know how much how much rings how match how mu yeah. Anyways, we'll we'll see how this next chow goes. Um, for the dedication side of things, we have Kirby. So I'm I'm kind of half wondering if this is gonna be. Oh, we'll we'll see how Kirby goes. If not, then yeah. So. Too bright. Apparently we've got some bright chow, even though the chow in the preview there doesn't look very bright at all, but in the thumbnail it certainly does. So let's just do that. So we have a very interesting... I mean, I really like this dedication just looks-wise. And, oh dang, that's a really cool looking ch bright chow there. Um, yeah, so this chow's a screamer, of course, which is always a good thing in my book. And they wanted a, uh, a pink chow, 
Well, actually, they really wanted a red two-tone for some reason, but a red two-tones are always red and black. So I did just a monotone pink, um, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure how well I'll do here, actually. Um, yeah, so so I sort of just, just interpreted and just worked from there, and it actually quite does look like a bit like Kirby. But yeah, I'm beginning to think this is not going to go very well for me. <laughs> um, yeah... I should have probably made these chow a bit more stronger, but you know, because I mean, it, for, for for Kirby stats in just like a regular cha challenge race would be perfectly fine, but yeah, I guess in these harder races, you know, then maybe you might have a bit more trouble. Yes, yeah, so don't worry, I underprepared these chow. Whoops. Oh well. Let's just spam stamina and hope for the best. <laughs> lol, 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 lol. Oh, actually, they've got good power. Maybe not. <laughs> no, that was, that was just their stamina kicking in. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to do much here. <laughs> well, at least they're not going to get last place, so that's that's okay. That's always okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, you know what? I'll probably just have to get RNGs just to do all these. So, let us do that. All right, Iron Jesus, we need you again. <laughs> All right, I want, I want to. Yes, we kind of have to do this. And also, Iron Jesus has an S rank in power, so I think this would be a very good stage for them to do. Yeah, so I guess my main, my main intention was actually all the the Daredevil races um, to be covered and the challenge races to be covered by Chow dedications, but I probably need to actually make this Chow suck less. <laughs> So, oh, this chow is fast. Hmm. I don't like the fierceness of this chow. Then again, this is a garnet race, so I think we'll have the upper hand still. Yeah, I'm gonna need some more sp stamina spamage here. Um, this might be quite... Yeah. Alright, stamina, 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 stamina! Maybe we do need like an all less chow to actually beat these races. Stamina! Stamina! Stamina, 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 stamina. Stamina, 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 stamina! Stamina! <laughs> Don't take the other pathway! Stamina! Stamina that! <laughs> There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. That was good. Okay, so... Um, if Iron Jesus was having a bit of trouble keeping up with that... Um, I, I am very curious to see how this will go for the next one. Alright. Um, okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. okay. All right, let's just we'll get R and Jesus, and we have the Devil's assistant. So, yeah. I don't know. It looks like they could be. I wonder if they're like a, they're probably a jewel chow. Oh, they're a saf they're a sapphire chow. Hey, okay. I, I see I see what we I see I see I see Chow Garden Buster. What you're up to there? Do I have to defeat myself to actually bypass this race? Oh, uh, Aquamarine Chow, go! This chow's probably got like 3,000 each stat or something. Well, at least they're not smart, which is okay. I hope they get the RNG box. Get the RNG box! Damn it! No, we, well, I think we, we're okay. We're good. We're good. I hope. Maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure they've got 3,000 in every stat. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm screwed. But uh, let's just try this anyway. Um. Um. <laughs> Whatever you do, Aaron Jesus, do not trip. Oh my god. Oh, he's, he's too fast. Nah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need an all S chow for this. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be the case. 
I mean, I could I could magically by some miracle maybe I don't know. Actually, maybe maybe they have like really bad intelligence. Maybe I think they maybe they have really bad intelligence and therefore if they get the wrong one, no, they'll get the right one. Damn it. If I thought if they were going to get the wrong one, we'd get the upper hand, but maybe not. So maybe they're not that stupid. Uh Don't take the outer pathway, it's a bad... No. <laughs> and it was just lagging there. Uh... No. I need to be sparing with this stamina, damn it. Oh jeez, they're way too far ahead. No, I don't think I'm gonna get this. Nope, nope, no, nope, nope, nope. I mean, if they somehow trip over and also get the pits of hell, maybe I could get this, but I'm not liking my chances at the moment. Oh, they don't even get the pitfall. Like, the, when, when, when does the pitfall not even work here? Like, seriously. Oh, well. Nope. Well, if our best racing chair can't even beat that one, I think we might have to get out, bring out some of the big guns. You know what I mean by that? You probably don't, because I've got other chair somewhere else. Um. Oh, you're doing another edgy. You're doing an- stop, stop doing an edge. I really don't want you to stop- I need to stop you stop doing edges, because you, I want you to stop- Don't you dare spit on me. Stop spitting. Don't do an edge because you're beating up my all my chow. Well, actually, mostly be you're beating up Hengrid, so. Yeah, which, which, by the way, Hengrid is now doing a nice dance here, so that's always nice. And you're crying, of course. Are you gonna go beat up Hengrid again? <laughs> Seriously, what the hell? You have really something against another guest chow. Because did you want to be the only guest chow in this garden? Really? Really? Oh, now you're gonna go for against Snake? How dare you, you? You punched a box. No. Do not agree with that. Okay. So, for a random Chow guest appearance, I have summoned Stampu in the ring to defeat this, uh, this Sapphire Chow. I mean, not defeating me, but defeating the, the Chow that's in this race. But I really wonder why they actually chose Sapphire out of all the other possible, like, even like Garnet or something would be look pretty good as a Dark Chaos Chow. I don't know. I have to ask Chow Garden Buster myself why they did that, but, um, yes. And you should not be second place, you should be first place. So yes, um, Shtumpu here is a very interesting Chow. I've actually got a, uh, like, a whole army of dual Chow that happen to wear hats, so... I guess RNG is one of them, but I have a bunch of, like, all S Chow that just, uh, have hats. And this Chow in particular, um, was probably one of the first Chow... Chows that I got that actually was born with a hat, so this this chair was just born with a stump hat and from there on I was like, oh, you know what, I'll just create a whole army of of jewel chow that happened to also have hats. And yeah, so I just, I've already bred or got the genes for the all S chow, so I just decided to make all, a bunch of all S chows all with different jewel types and all with different hats. So yes, there you have it. I've got a, so this is just one of those chow from that sort of little jewel chow army. And yeah. Interesting little random factoid is uh, Chow Word Extended gives you a really like uh, like a really slim chance of a Chow being born with a hat, and so this was one of those Chow that happened to be like that. But I don't really know. I can't really remember what the odds were. It was like something along the lines of like point. Maybe it was like one percent or something. I I don't know. But that's just another Chow Word Extended uh, extra feature. But yeah, I think I think we got this good now. As long as I don't spam too much stamina, because I realize this this child does not have that much that stamina. 
as a whole, but uh, overall it's a no- decent sort of stat. So yeah, I think you needed definitely needed the the three thousand and all. Definitely needed three thousand in every stat just to beat this. So I'm take it I'm gonna have to change up a bit of the stats for these chow dedications so I can feature them in a way that's constructive and they're not gonna fail miserably. So yes, we'll do that. Now this is good for last minute stamina. And there we go. So we've finally beaten this race. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think, so now I know roughly how what, what sort of difficulty level we have to deal with here. Probably have to kind of ready, um, pre, pre prepare um, the child dedications for um, the other race. So I'll probably do that a bit after that. So let's get out of here. So yay, we, we we beat the race thingy, and yeah, we got glitchy fruits again. Hooray! So eat that. And so, someone's hungry. Someone's screaming. Who's screaming? Is that you? I don't know. Like, can you please not do that? <laughs> can you please? Can you please? Out of, out of all the chow, you're trying to keep. You're trying to just beat up Hengrid. Okay, well that that was a very interesting uh interesting ordeal there. Anyways, I think this is about time that we finish things up here. So, this has been Sapphire Chow. This has been RNGesus. And this is me being over and out.